Look how long it took. I got the recipe. I ain't I got the recipe book. Pay attention, who runs next to me? If I'm the problem, then hey. It's only cause you want to last with me. And you don't need good energy in my circle. And you became my fucking trust. How you move from the top? But my couch, let's talk about my couch. So I bought this couch because the couch that I'm actually gonna want is gonna cost mad bread. Turn on my light in my bathroom. It's gonna cost mad bread. And I don't know if I feel like spending all that on a couch. So I wanna try to DIY with it. And it's gonna put me back in my realm of DIY and stuff. So I got this couch. I got this couch and this rug, but this rug probably isn't gonna stay, honestly. But this couch, I want it to be sharp or fabric or boucle, whatever you wanna call it. So I got these throws. It is a big couch, y'all, like it's mad big. So we're gonna see, I'm about to go to Joanne's right now. I got some side tables. Oh, we're gonna make it work, we're gonna make it work. But anyway, like I said, we are gonna try to cover this up. And then, I have this couch right here that I'm gonna cover up to later on. I don't know. But let's focus on this bad boy right here. Okay, you guys, we made it to Hobby Lobby. And fabrics are over here. So we're gonna go to Home Depot too and get a staple gun and some fabric glue. There's all the fabrics, and I'm looking for Sherpa. So not this. All right, y'all, so at this point, I went in here right, and I got so the fabric that they had here. Right I here. went to almost okay. every Hobby Lobby in Houston and bought this fabric. Right, so we made it so to our second Hobby Lobby online. location. It was two days, but when I want something done, I want it done. Yeah. They have so anyway, I didn't get the footage on camera so actually here purchasing here it, but yeah, it we're back home now. Before and they let's all close, try this out. I could not wait. Ugh, I'm just so innovative. Look. I'm the type of person, if I want something done myself, I'm going to get it done. So this is a fixer up a couch, so let's fix her up, okay? And also, the reason why I covered the couch is because I wanted a big sectional couch, but you don't find it in that Sherpa or boucle fabric, so I had to make it work for me. So back when I was living in L.A., I did this with my other sectional. I covered it in black because I just wanted a black couch. I'll insert like a picture if I have it. But anyway, I kind of had an idea of what, what I wanted to do. The only thing different, ooh, not the holes in my ass crack. Oh my God. The only thing different with this couch is the cushions aren't sewed on the couch. So all the cushions, including the back ones, come off. So I was trying to finesse and sew the cushions to the back of the couch with the fabric so that I wouldn't have to worry about them, like, you know, excuse me sliding around and stuff hold on this is a pause clip hold on and we back okay so look like i said this couch is a fixer upper i didn't want to go buy an expensive couch to cover it because i knew what i wanted okay so here i am about to cover it i, I saw somebody on youtube staple their cushions and i'm like hold on how y'all did that because there's nothing to adhere to you need wood for the staples to stick so i end up sewing it hand sewing it uh, I thought about fabric glue, but I don't got time for that either. But hand sewing it and using safety pins to help me pin everything where it needs to be. So I decided to start off with this corner right here. The camera ended up sliding around, y'all. I apologize again. I, sometimes it's hard to record things because I just be so into what I'm doing that it's hard to get camera angles right and make sure everything is what it needs to be. I don't know why I keep yawning. Excuse me. Okay, let's get into the next day. Because this is the first night. I just wanted to play with it and kind of get it just in the feel.
All right, you guys, so I'm doing this back side of the couch. So I ran into an issue on this side of the couch. This part looks really good, like literally like right here. But then it kind of raises up right here, which is pissing me off because I want it to be deep. But I'm realizing it's because I was able to make the fabric reach down really deep. And this is stopping right here. We need the fabric to touch the back of the couch, like down here. So I might have to take, well, this isn't on, but all of this off. Redo this whole lining, and I have a new one, um, and really stretch out the fabric the best way I could, because I end up cutting this and sewing it together when this was all one piece. So I think I'm gonna just re-strategize and redo this. So right now we're gonna, as you can see, I put the fabric over this way, because I was trying to like have the cushions be with it, but that's not gonna work, I don't think so. I mean, let's see. That's why I didn't like to do too many cuts. So I'm just about to put this right here, and I'm just start in the corner. Staple it. Staple it and just keep stapling. So here is our progress. I was hoping that the fabric reached all the way over there, but it didn't. But this is what I did so far. So now I'm about to cover this cushion to go right here. And then we're going to do the two cushions here, cover that patch. And then we have to start this whole back I literally ran over. Out of fabric at the cushions the are good. These cushions, the couch, but we're going to have to do again, these three back cushions over and the that needle whole back and the thread over, so. kit right at yeah. Joanne's. This is good Abby. so far. I got nylon so thread, um, a pack of needles that came in like curved straight. Oh, really um, and then I got like the same color thread and nylon thread. I didn't use the nylon Hi, thread, but I used the same all. color as the couch thread. So here I am redoing that back part that I told y'all, the one that I started first. And I'm watching ATL and no, no. Yeah. But anyway, the only thing I didn't show you guys how to do is like, or what I did was the sewing. Because like I said, by that point, I was just ready to get it done. <laughs> Okay, but wait till y'all see how this came out. Oh my God, I'm so excited.
it was definitely a trial and error thing, but I just love it. And it's so cute. Here is the finished look of the couch, YouTube. So seamless and nice and pretty and dreamy and just comfy. So I'm gonna change the rug to a plush rug that's this color. But look how clean cut the back is. Like, ugh, so pretty. I really wanna do my mirror. And we're waiting for a lot of furniture and stuff to go on the walls and stuff, but yeah, let's get into it. So as you can see, this mirror already has staples in it, which is how I know it's going to work with my staple gun. So I'm going to get my scrap fabric, which is right here. We have a lot of scrap pieces that we can use. And this is from my couch, of course, that I just, custom made so we're gonna grab the excess fabric Here's how the mirror came out, mad cute. I think I'm gonna put this in my room though. We'll see, stay tuned. <laughs> 